Hello guys and welcome to this new Tableau tutorial. In this video, I'm going to create the following dashboard which is about Goodreads. Goodreads is the world's largest site for readers and book recommendations with a mission of helping people to find and share books they love. As you can see here, we are going to create different charts. We're going to start by horizontal bar charts for authors by total books, publishers by total books, and titles by rating count. Next, we are going to create an area chart for books by publication date. After that, we have a radial bar chart for top 10 language codes. And we are going to create 8 text sheets, which will depend on one filter, which is the title of each book, and will provide us for the detailed information about the book selected. But before start working with Tableau, let's first explore our data set. So here we have our data set. You can find the link in the description to download directly the data set from Kaggle. And you can also find the second link to download the same file from my GitHub repository. So as we have said, we have a comprehensive list of books listed in Goodreads. And if we go down here, we have a table which contains 12 columns. We have the book ID, a unique identification number for each book. We have the title of the book, the authors, the average rating, we have another unique number to identify the book, the International Standard Book Number. Next, we have also 13-digit ISBN to identify the book. Then we have the language code, number of pages. We have also ratings count, total number of ratings the book received. Text reviews count, which is the total number of written text reviews the book received. And we have two more columns, which are publication date and the publisher. So now let's start creating our charts using Tableau. So here we have imported our CSV file. We click on it, open, and we are going to join it with radial bar chart values text file. We are going to use this file in order to create our radial bar chart. And same thing, you can find the link in the description to download the text file from my GitHub repository. So click on create joint calculation, one, apply, okay, same thing in here, one, apply, okay. As you can see here, all the rows are duplicated. We close this one, we click on sheet one, we click on format, workbook. So for the worksheet, we are going to use the following color. As you can see here, it has the following code, right? 46, 30, 20. Okay. And you put them in 8 bold. Same thing for the titles. Bold, same color, 12. We remove the grid lines. Same thing for the zero lines. And for axis rulers, we put them in the same color. Same thing for axis sticks in the same color. We close, right click format, and for the shading, we are going to use also another color which has the following code. So we have F4, F2, E9. Okay, we are going to create our first horizontal bar chart, which is authors by total books. So, alright, authors by total books. Okay. We close this one, we drag and drop authors into the rows, book ID into the columns, and we select measure count distinct. We sort that, we change our color into the following color, as we have said it has the following code, right? We press on control key shift and we click on B, three or four more times to increase the size. As you can see here, we press Ctrl key, we drag and drop the count into the label. Right click, we hide the header. Right click, hide field labels for rows. Double click, put it in the center. And we are going to format the title by putting the borders in the same color. We are going to format our worksheet. So format, we add the borders. Alright, 
same thing for row divider and the column divider for the alignment for the header we put it in the center okay so like that we get our first horizontal bar chart for authors by total books next we have publishers by total books so right click duplicate this one so instead of authors we're going to put publisher same thing we sort that and we get our second chart which is publishers by total books okay next we have another horizontal bar chart for titles by rating count the same thing duplicate we have titles by rating count okay so as we have said all the rows are duplicated and for the measures we are not going to use count distinct so what we are going to do is that we are going to create for each measure another calculated field and emit my ratings count which will be rating count divided by 2 apply ok so remove everything we drag and drop the title into the rows and my rating count into the columns we sort same thing we press ctrl key we drag and drop the sum into the label and we hide the header so like that to get titles by rating count next we are going to create the area chart for books by publication date so right click duplicate we name it books publication date okay so remove everything remove this one this one we drag and drop publication date into the columns we click we select continuous we drag and drop book id into the rows and we select count distinct right click hide indicator we select area chart and we select the same color double click on this axis we remove the title and same thing for this axis remove the title all right for the colors we can increase opacity to 100 percent all right now i'm going to create our radial bar chart so duplicate this one we remove everything we click on value create pins so name it path size of bins 1 from 0 to 270 okay next create my index right which is index minus 1 apply okay next we have my total which will be window max of count distinct of book id apply okay next we have the rank so it's my rank which is rank unique of my total in the ascending order apply okay so duplicate my total her name it will be my total max and you create the percentage so percentage which is my total divided by my total max apply okay now create the x and y coordinates so we have x which is the cosine in radians of my index multiplied by percentage 
everything multiplied by my rank I select everything copy apply okay we have y which is equal to the sign of the same formula apply okay now I can drop x into the rows y into the columns path into detail and language code into the color okay so press control key with drag and drop language code into the filters select top by field we have book id count distinct apply okay and the title will be top 10 language codes okay so here we select line and we convert the path into the path so for x editable calculations for my index along the path for my total same thing along the path my total max along the path and language code and for rank along the language code we do the same thing for y so for my index path my total same thing path my total max both path and language code and for my rank for the language code all right so we hide this one right click remove the header same thing in here for the color edit colors we press control key we select everything So I've said 46, 30, 20. Okay. Apply. Okay. We can increase the size. All right. We press Control key with drag and drop language code into the label. And same thing, we have my total into the label. So click on labels, line ends. We don't want label end of line, right? We click on label and we put it in the following order. Apply OK. So like that, we get our radial bar chart for top 10 language codes. Next, we are going to create our text sheets. So duplicate this one. We remove everything. For the size, we decrease it like that. And the first one, it will be the authors. So authors, we can be, okay. So draw and drop title into the filters. Select one, apply, okay. Show filter, customize, we remove all, and single value drop down. We drag and drop authors into the labels. Select the entire view and will be automatic. So for text alignment in the center, click on text and we paste authors. In the center, apply, OK. Next we have language code, so duplicate. remove the authors we hide the cart draw and drop language code into the text click paste apply ok next we have obligation date we remove we add the publication date, paste, apply, OK. Next, we have the publisher.
remove publisher paste apply ok after that we have rating counts so ratings count we remove this one and we use the calculated field my ratings count click on text apply ok and for the remaining three measures average rating number of pages and text reviews count we are going to create other calculated fields and divide them by two so click create calculated field my average rating which is average rating divided by two apply ok next we have create limit number of pages will be the number divided by two and text reviews so create name it text reviews same thing divided by two apply okay so duplicate this one a number of pages okay we remove this one use this one apply ok can format that numbers custom zero decimal places ok next we have average rating We remove this one, we use the calculated field, paste, apply, ok, and the final one is text reviews, ok, so we remove this one, we have text reviews, paste apply ok format and custom zero decimal places right for average rating same thing it will be custom zero decimal places all right just so like that we have our text sheets next we are going to create our dashboard so you click on new dashboard for the size it will be 1850 1050 we click on dashboard format for the shading we select the following color which has the following code ok now we drag and drop the different sheets right so we start from the authors publishers and titles like that Okay. All right. Next we have the area chart and the radial bar chart. Next, we are going to add the two images, right? Same thing, you can find the link in the description. Double click on image, fit and center. So the first one is book, apply, okay. And we add another one. So we'll just put it in here. Double click, apply, okay. And we'll put it on the top like that. All right. center decrease like that all 
Okay, now we are going to add the text sheets. So start from the authors. Put it in here. The title in the center like that. Format center and we add the border. Okay, high title, and we add the remaining text sheets. So we have language code, publication date, high title, high title, publisher, high title. We add the other ones in here. Okay. High title and high title. One last thing. Apply to worksheets. Select worksheets. And we select all the text sheets. Okay. All right. Now, if we select the presentation view, as you can see here, when we change the title, the text sheets will change, right? We just need to hide the title in here, and like that, we get our final dashboard. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you have learned new things. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next tutorial.